New details now at 5.30. A three-year-old girl's future is uncertain. She is the sole survivor of a family tragedy. Tonight, that little girl is without her mother, her grandmother, and her twin sister. Investigators say her father killed them and took his own life. CBS 4's Peter Dench is outside the tragic scene where it unfolded with what the little girl is saying tonight. One of the father's cousins will have temporary custody of the little girl. She will also receive therapy and grief counseling. I also spoke with the suspect's brother. He told me he had no idea why this happened and said the family was looking for answers. Everybody here for the phone case. One by one, loved ones file into a Broward courtroom, deeply troubled after Pembroke Pines police say 35-year-old Pablo Colon Jr. took the lives of his wife Sandra mother-in-law and the three-year-old daughter before shooting and killing himself. More than 20 members from both the mother and father's families huddled before Judge Sherry Afrik Olofsson to determine who will care for the sole survivor of the shooting, the three-year-old twin sister. I'm sure grandparents would be important for the child to see. The judge said a paternal cousin will have temporary custody of the child who was not harmed but was initially hospitalized as a precaution after the Sunday night shooting at Grand Palms. She'll receive therapy and grief counseling. The judge said she was impressed by this turnout of relatives. I can't tell you how many children come through this courtroom with no one, with no family member and no one stepping up. So to see this is really wonderful. Family members did not want to talk about this tragedy or Pablo Colon, who was the owner of PCA Electrical Services, whose trucks are seen here outside the Fort Lauderdale apartment where he operated. Police say Colon left no note behind and they do not know why the incident happened. It's amazing what happened. I mean, I, I don't understand it. Uh, how people can do that to their whole entire family. I mean, it's beyond comprehension as far as I'm concerned. Cologne and his family rented the home for the past six months. BSO said there were no calls for police service in that time. Cologne had no apparent criminal history. We have a lot of troubled people in our country today. I think that's pretty obvious. And we really need to do some mental health, some serious mental health issues that we need to work on. I pray that we're going to do something about guns. A guardian ad litem will also be appointed to look out for the little girl's best interest. The father's cousin will have temporary custody pending a hearing on Friday. It's not clear if she will stay permanently with that cousin. In Pembroke Pines, Peter Danch, CBS 4 News.